Another day, another AI tool that claims to replace developers. <sighs> you are probably tired of hearing about anything related to AI and I don't blame you. AI fatigue is real. But bear with me, I don't typically jump on the AI bandwagon unless there is a tool or news that genuinely interests me. So let's discuss about the first AI developer and the AI's impact on developers. On 12 March 2024, Cognition released Devin, the first AI software engineer. Devin is an AI agent that uses its shell, code editor and web browser to solve engineering tasks. According to them, it can learn how to use new technologies, contribute to complex production repositories, even train and fine-tune its own AI models, find and fix bugs, and lastly, build and deploy applications end-to-end. -end. They claim that Devin has successfully passed practical engineering interviews from leading AI companies and has even completed real jobs on Upwork. It's important to mention that all this information is extracted from their announcement tweet and it's not something that I say. So looking at their announcement, it's pretty easy to get discouraged. It seems like this AI tool can do everything a human developer can, but better, faster and cheaper. But is that the truth? Let's rewind to the time when GitHub Copilot was released for a bit of context. Three years ago, on 2nd of July 2021, I wrote a post about it and addressed some fears regarding artificial intelligence replacing developers. It was a mind-blowing tool at the time. It still is, but we are more used to AI tools now and most developers fear getting replaced. Back then, I was confident that AI wouldn't replace developers. It's a great tool, but it doesn't have the capabilities this new tool Devin claims to have. However, things progressed at a mind-boggling pace in just three years. That means we are back at square one and the dreaded question is on everyone's mind again. Will AI replace developers? There is no one certain answer. Run away from whoever claims to know the answer. But looking at the newly released Devin, you might be tempted to say, yes, AI will replace developers. However, I recommend you don't rush to conclusions. First of all, demos are created to highlight a product's best features and functionalities while downplaying its limitations or potential issues. That's the main reason why I don't personally trust demos 100%. Do you remember the Google Gemini demo? If so, you are probably aware that the demo was not entirely real, according to TechCrunch, so don't sue me. That incident emphasizes the importance of not taking demos at face value. What is presented in a demo doesn't reflect the reality of the product in 99% of the cases. I admit that Devin looks impressive in the demo. However, it doesn't mean much until we can try it ourselves and see it in action, to me at least. And even if it works exactly like in the demo, it will be another tool in our toolbox for solving problems. We are all attached to code for some reason, but don't forget that we are problem solvers who solve problems through code. The code is just an instrument to achieve that goal. Let's continue by talking about the idea of replacing developers. The pursuit of replacing developers is not a new trend. Developers are expensive, so businesses have been trying to replace them for a long time. It started with the COBOL programming language, then came tools like Microsoft Excel, which allowed non-programmers to do complex calculations and data manipulations without writing a single line of code. It then continued with website builders, which enable anyone to create websites without needing to know much programming or any at all. These tools have indeed enabled people to do things that were previously only possible with programming knowledge but they didn't replace developers. Software development is a very complex area with many branches. Some branches are easier to automate and some are more difficult, if not impossible. So the rise of AI tools is the latest iteration of this trend. While they can speed up development, they still require programming knowledge. If you've used LLMs and apps like ChatGPT, Copilot and the like, you know the quality of the code they produce. The more complex the task, the worse their output. 
Of course, they are still impressive and do an excellent job for simple tasks and boilerplate code. And just because it doesn't fare well with complex tasks at the moment doesn't mean they'll never be able to do it. In conclusion, while these tools made certain aspects of software development easier for developers and more accessible to non-programmers, they don't replace anyone. Developers bring a level of understanding, creativity, and problem-solving ability that cannot be replicated by a tool or a platform. As technology continues to evolve, the developer's role may change, but it will not disappear. So let me close by saying that the new AI developer, Devin, doesn't look too scary to me right now, or any other tools that claim to be AI developers for that matter. I certainly don't dismiss them and I know these tools will get better with time, but they are not what they are portrayed to be, at least for now. So instead of worrying whether AI will replace developers, I advise you to get familiar with all things AI. Move your focus from the things you can't control to the ones you can. Learn about artificial intelligence, LLMs and similar topics as much as possible. Also, don't be stubborn and reject using AI tools. You are only doing yourself a disservice. Get familiar with the existing AI tools and integrate them into your daily workflow because they can help you tremendously. Embrace the future as hard as it might be. You can't escape it. And lastly, yes, it's still worth learning to code. If you are learning to code, keep at it. Thanks for watching the video and please let me know in the comments what you think about AI and Devin.